Good morning, everyone. Bob here. Welcome to Balance Exercises for Seniors, a full gentle strength workout, which means we're going to begin with a warm up, end with a stretch and a cool down, and do some great balance exercises in the middle. These are very important because we don't want you falling, especially in the winter. And I'm looking out my window and I can see lots of snow. So be careful. You might even want to go to maybe a TSE store or a Canadian Tire Home Hardware and buy those rubber cleats for the bottom of your feet when you're out in that ice and snow. Anyway, we're going to start off with a warm up. Oh, by the way, today you're going to need maybe a lemon, maybe an orange, maybe um, three different types of balls. If you have juggling balls, that's good. So warm up first. Great workout. So we're ready to begin the core of our workout. And we're going to start with eight static balance poses. And so we're going to try to work most of our body to do this. And static means we're going to hold the pose like a statue. And maybe we'll hold the pose for 20 seconds. And at any time, if you have trouble holding the pose, you just Relax and then join us when you're ready. So number one, it's called the one foot hold. And I know you've done this before. We're not going to use any supports, no props, no walls, no chairs, 
know anything. And we're just going to choose, we're going to do both legs. So we're going to choose a leg. Maybe I'll use my weaker of the two legs, this one over here, and I'm just going to lift my foot off the ground with the other foot. And you can do whatever you want with your upper body, just try to be still. If you start to move, that's okay, but you take control. So you could be in any position, you know, like this or whatever you want, but try to be static or still. And if at any time your foot goes down, you just rest. And when you're ready, you lift it up again. You're working for a 20 second, a 20 second hold. Okay, and let's try the other side. 20 seconds isn't that long. The higher up you lift this free leg and the farther away from your core here, and by that I mean that's my center of gravity. That's where the most weight is, right around your navel. Anyway, the farther you take your appendage or your leg or your arm away from that core, <clears throat> the harder it is to hold your balance. So I'm just going to hold it in some kind of a pose for 20 seconds. Good. That's not too bad, eh? Just the one foot hold. Number two, balance exercise number two, is a half X, not a whole X, a half X. So again, we're going to shift our weight to one leg, take the other leg and take it out on an angle, and the opposite arm, this one here is going to go above your head here. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. So if you drew a line from the tip of your finger on that arm right down through your core to the tip of your toe, it would be a nice straight line, as opposed to something like this. No. So I want to get this pose and hold it. You can point your toe, reach with your fingers to make it really look cool. Put this hand on the hip if you want or behind your back. It's a half X pose. And try not to wiggle. Hold it. <laughs> Rest. Lift. It is not easy. Okay. The half X on the other side. So a straight arm. And when you're ready, maybe you'll hide my other arm so I look like a half of an X. And there it is. Boy, this is my weaker leg and it seems to be easier to do. 20 second. Good work. Good work. Exercise number three for balance is a knee up twist. So you're just going to choose a leg again. You're going to lift your knee up off the off the uh, um, lift your knee up and lift your foot up off the floor. And if you can get the knee on the same plane as your hip, so it's like a straight line from your knee to your hip, and get it to there, <laughs> that's maybe a challenge right off the bat. But now we've got a twist, and we're going to twist our body toward that knee. So I'm twisting one way. I'm trying to hold the pose. If you can only get your leg up a little bit with your bent leg knee up a little bit and you twist, that's okay too. But eventually you want it up here and hold it for 20. <laughs> okay, that's 20. You're going to say, oh, I don't know about that, Robert. You're a fast counter. Well, here comes the other side. The knees up, a little bit of a twist with the torso. Do whatever you want with your hands. Just twist your torso. For 20. Good work. So that's a knee up twist. Number four is a squat twist. You know how to do a squat. Legs pretty far apart. At least shoulder width apart. Toes pointing straight ahead. Push your hip, like bend, um, push your hips back and push your tailbone back and maybe up. So a little bit of an arch in your low back here. And then you're going to raise your arms up. They are bent a little bit. And then when you get into the squat, we want to twist. So we're going to do a squat twist. 
I don't care which way you twist. In fact, we'll hold this for 10. And then we'll twist the other way for 10. It's a 20 second pose. Good, the squat twist. Reach for the sky is number five. So my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna just lift my heels off the ground and come up on the balls of my feet. Yep, yeah. okay. So I wanna stay up there. I wanna get those heels up and stay on the balls of my feet as I reach up as high as I can. And I am going to look straight ahead or I'm gonna look at heaven. So you choose. So first of all, you gotta get up on the balls of your feet. Okay, that might be where you're at. Maybe you can get your arms up a little bit, maybe all the way up overhead. Maybe you can just look straight ahead and hold this for 20 or you have to possibly glance at heaven, which is even harder. Oh, okie doke. I think I'll look straight ahead. I'm not ready for glancing at heaven yet. So my arms are straight. My hands are up as high as I can go. I'm still on the balls of my feet and it's 20 seconds. Holy cats. These static or very still poses are not easy. Ah, the lunge twist is number six. One foot back, up in the balls of my feet. <laughs> I've got my front leg bent a little bit, right? My knee is right over top of the middle of that foot. My shoulders are above my hips, so my hips are forward a little bit, right? My chin is on the ledge and pushed back into my neck a little bit to keep my earlobes above my shoulders. So once I'm in this famous lunge position, instead of going up and down, I'm just going to twist into the leg that's forward like I did when I lifted my bent leg up to do that knee up twist. This is a lunge twist. Hold it steady. Try not to move. You're a statue, remember? You're static. And then Switch sides. So this one's forward. I'll just turn it on my side here a little bit so you can see. Make sure that knee is above your foot in the middle. Push your head back. Chin is on the ledge. Shoulders are right below the ears. Okay, you're up in the balls of your feet and then you're going to twist into the front leg. This is a lunge twist. Be a statue, don't move. It's just for 20 seconds. Easy, right? We got two more to go. They're really easy and they're fun too. Number seven is the skater's swan. You know the big white bird? Pose. So my arms are going to be, when I'm done, out here, palms down. One leg is going to be straight behind me with my toe pointed, and I'm going to hinge at the hips and from the top of my head to my tailbone, it's going to be flat. So I'm not gonna curl in any way. So I think I'll start with the right leg. So as I go, I move my leg back, my arms up. I look straight down at the floor. I straighten that leg that's in the air at the back and point my toe. Oh, lower my head a little bit, no touching anything. Remember, practice makes permanent. Oh, I don't know if that was 20. Maybe I should give that a whirl again. Take it easy. Up goes the leg straight. Point the toe on that leg. Arms are straight out, palms down. I'm bending at the hips. My balanced leg has the knee over the foot. And I'm trying to hold steady. Okie doke. Let's try the other side of my body when I'm ready. Okay, am I breathing kind of heavy? Yes, this is not easy, this balance stuff. I think the older you get, the more you have to work at it. You know, this is my sore leg and I seem to have a little bit more stability with it, at least today. Can you hold it? 20? I don't think so. Not unless you're in super shape. I need to practice more. That's the skater's swan. Can you imagine if you had ice skates on and you were moving and you tried to do the skater's swan? The last one is the tree. You've done it in yoga class before. 
your uh, arms can be in any position you want. If possible, I'd like them to be right over your head, and I'd like you to take your palms and rotate them, your wrists, rotate them in, and then put the flat part together so you like this when you get your arms over your head. But right now, you can choose. I'd like you to have one foot off the ground, and it can be right beside the other one. Let me back up again. So I can take this foot and put it beside the other one. Or it can be on top of the other one, a little harder. Okay? Or it can be wherever you want it to be, away from the other leg. But let's get the arms up there. And your tree might have the arms out here like this. That's okay, but my straight arms are going over my head. I'm going to rotate my hands at the wrists and put the palms together. And then I think today, just because, I'm going to put one foot on top of the other and try not to move. This is the tree pose. At least for me it is. And this is not easy. You know, sometimes you put this foot up against the calf muscle or maybe up a little higher, but mine's going on top of the other foot. And if that's way too hard, put it beside the other foot. Let's just hold it for 10. Fine. So we had the one foot hold, the half X, the knee up twist, the squat twist, the reach for the sky up on the balls of our feet, the lunge twist, the skater's swan, and we ended up with the tree. Practice those. Practice them every day. Can you, if you're only at holding them for five seconds or three seconds, see if you can get up a couple more seconds. Work up to 20. I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email, the old fox with two X's at rogers.com, and tell me how you're doing. Okay, now we're going to get into some dynamic, which means some balance exercises that involve moving. They're called the golden eight. Yes, there's eight of them. Energy balancing exercises, even though we're balance is in there. And it's a dynamic routine. You're going to go from one to two to three, all the way up to eight without stopping, but moving very slowly. So we'll try to do them twice, each one twice today, just because of time.
Good work. The next section is called walk the plank. So it doesn't matter if you have a board in your house or a piece of string or something on the floor to walk on. You can just imagine that you want to go in a straight line. Okay? And your bare feet would be better. We don't want you to slip or fall. Some people even go to the length of rolling up towels so they're in little balls, even though they're soft, and they walk on those to create a plank. Some people go off the ground on a real, like, tightrope. But we're just going to use the floor here, and I'm just going to go from where I am toward the camera and back. I think it's going to be about 10 steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is get into my best posture, okay? And when I take my step, I'm going to place one foot very carefully in front of the other on the plank, heel to toe, and then the other one, heel to toe. And I'm going to walk from me to you and then backwards doing the same thing. And I'm going to look down at the plank. Okay, I want to keep my eyes down at the floor. And with your arms, you can do whatever you want. Just don't fall off the plank. So here I go. I'm going to count, by the way, out loud. At home, you count out loud too. It's important. One, two, three. Three, eyes down, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Part B, walk the plank. We're going to do exactly the same thing, counting and walking forward and back eight, but we're going to look straight ahead with the best posture we've got. So I get myself in the mountain pose or the athletic stance. I know what I'm going to do. I know the space around me. It's my house. And looking straight ahead, one, two, three, stay on the plank, five, Six, seven, eight, and back. Don't fall off the plank. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Just a little harder, but not much. Okay, all right. Part C of walk the plank. One hand over top of one eye so you can't possibly peek. Are you ready to go? You want this one out there? That's okay. Just don't fall off the plank. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, other side. Here we go. We'll count in French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. Good work, good work. Now, the last one, be very, very careful. You're going to shut both eyes, okay? And try to keep your posture in the best posture position you can. And take your time. You know the space. It's your space. Your brain knows the space. You don't need those eyes. And if you think you're going to fall off the tightrope, just stop and then keep going. I'm going to count in my head. You count any way you want. You're by yourself probably in your house. So here we go, eyes shut, no peeking. Heel to toe, right? Great. 
Wouldn't it be nice if we were in the tropics and there was sand and a little water and everything was warm and sunny and beautiful and you could walk in the sand doing that exercise and then you could walk back and step in the same footprints that you made? That would be a great way to check your, your um, balance. Now there's only one more exercise we're going to do before we wrap it up with our stretch. And it's called juggling. And again, I'm going to use a lemon. And I'm going to take my right hand, doesn't matter which one you start with. And I'm just going to throw it up and catch it. Eight times. If I just throw it a little bit versus a lot, it's easier than this. Okay? The other thing is, if I wanted to, I could wait until it got down to here before I caught it. And then I'd have to bend my knees, my legs at the knees, and keep my eye on the lemon or the juggling ball. All of balance. That's harder. You decide what you're going to do. But if you drop it, I want you to bend your legs, lower your hips, pick it up, keep your eyes on me, and then start again. You got to do eight without dropping. So let's just try it again. You don't have to count. Oh, love. Good, the other side. Two. Why not involve the squat, right? Easy, alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't even have to start over. So I did one hand, then the other hand, and then I alternated. Part four of the juggling is to get yourself another ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw it up with one and then throw it up with the other and then catch, catch. Some people cheat. They do this. They throw it up and pass it like this. I mean, that's okay. That's really easy. Or the other way. But that's not the juggling way. The juggling way is you throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Don't throw it away. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And you're not only using your whole body to do this, but the memory station, the main memory terminal in your body is in your inner ear. And any time anytime there are bones in there and anytime you're going up and down you're working the balance bones with your brain and anytime you're turning in any direction you're working the other sensory bones in your in your inner ear okay so it's all about balance but the eyes are connected to this and so are the ears and so is your sense of touch all about balance so we're going to go up, up, catch, catch. Oh, I can't count that because I darn dropped it. And you know what? When I went to pick it up, I bent my back. Oh, darn. Can I go and get this one with my legs? Get this one, look at the camera. TV, sure. So that's not even one. So up, up, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. That's one. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, other side, catch, catch. Maybe this one would be easier to catch, catch. I have to do eight. One more. I did it, I did it. Practice makes permanent for your brain and your body connection. If you want, we could stop right there, but if you want, you can get the third ball. So I have two in one hand and one in the other. So I'm going to start with the, the throwing of the of the one that has two in it. So I'm going to throw one of these, then throw this one, we've already done that, then throw the third one, and then catch, catch, catch. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's up, 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 up. Got 
right to in this side, so I have to go up, up, no, up, 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 up. You can do it. Have fun with that. That's the juggling for balance. We did our warm up, a little bit of moving there. We did our static or statue balance exercises. There's eight of those. And then we did our dynamic or our moving balance exercises, walking the plank, the juggling. And now we're going to cool down by going into a cook's hookup. So we take one foot, doesn't matter which one, and put it around behind and beside the other foot. Stand up straight. And then take, since that was the one that we put behind, or the right leg in my case, the left in yours, I take that arm, one that went behind, that goes on top of the wrist, grab the fingers, put it on your heart. This is our little cool down meditation section of the workout. We're going to either just stand here and think about all the wonderful things that have happened in our life that were just spectacularly great. Or you could do it with your eyes shut. That would make this more of a balance challenge. But I have to learn to focus on what is good. I've already had some great stuff happen today on my anniversary. Just for 10 seconds. Good. Open my eyes. Don't open my eyes. Untangle. But you know what? We should do the other side. So this leg's going behind. This arm's going on top. Grab onto my heart. Another 10 seconds of thinking wonderful things. The Old Fox, with two X's, at rogers.com. I'd love to hear from you anytime, day or night. Send me a message. Okay, eyes are open. Untangle myself. We're going to end up with a stretch. Now, sometimes the instructor will ask you to hold the stretch. You don't have to be completely still. This isn't a statue. It's just a stretch. You could hold the stretch for... 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. But your goal is two minutes, 120 seconds. So I'm just going to choose, um, I think, the figure four. Because we did balance today, the figure four standing up. You can do this in the chair, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to do the figure four standing up. You're going to take one of your ankles and put it on the knee. I don't care what you do with your arms and your hands. That is your position. It's already up to 10 seconds. It's the figure four stretch. Gentle. You don't have to be a statue. You could read something, you could juggle maybe. Practice your juggling while you're doing the stretch. That's 20 seconds. Can we go for 30? Good work, shake it out. Remember, I'm going to work toward two minutes, but this foot, ankle on the knee, above the knee, and I'm starting to count. That's five already. Ten. I hope you had a good time. Remember, your balance sensory uh, section in your body is in your inner ear. There's two sort of balance centers in there that are looking after you in terms of balance. That's 30 already. Can we go to 60 seconds? Remember your heaviest part of your body is around your belly button. That's your, your core center of gravity. That's where the heaviest part of your body is. Good work, shake it out, shake everything out. Drink some water, have a great day. Tell your friends, and I'll be back next week.